Hello and welcome to another video. This is Rohi's Retro 81 and we are going to continue on with the Heretic Let's Play. Um, and we're just going to polish off this level and then get on to the next one. And apparently I have full ammo for these now, which is lovely. So I get my ethereal crossbow on. Um, as I mentioned in previous videos, I, <laughs> from a noise point of view, when it's hot, because I need a fan on in my room, I can't record. Well, I could, I could record, but it would sound horrific, and uh, you probably wouldn't be able to hear much of the game. You probably wouldn't have hear, be able to hear a lot of me talking. It would just kind of be a disaster. Two Invisible Knights coming up there. Uh, like I said in the earlier video uh, and quite a few of the other uh, uh, videos for the other episode uh, as things get progressed this this game does ramp up quite quickly it's nothing on you kind of like you know last stages of a Dark Souls game type level but it certainly takes a it's certainly a lot a lot harsher on its difficulty curve I would say than uh, a lot of the other games from the same era even by the same companies to be honest um, right now that's a blue one so this will get a little no way I'm not going down there. Let's see what we can see in here. I've heard a knight, so I'm going to presume he's invisible. Or is he? Oh! No, I didn't hear a knight. I heard one. I heard two of those. That was a nice surprise. And I'm glad we came in here, because that's a bag of holding, and that will be really handy, because as you've, as you've seen, ammo starts to get scarce in here. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's why, that is why I was surprised when I didn't teleport when I got in there, because I remembered there was a teleport there, but I didn't remember, like, what triggered it. Anyhow, that's this level all done. So let's get the hell out of here. We'll get on to stage three. So that was the lava pits. So we got out of there. The River of Fire! Oh, yeah, I remember the River of Fire. <laughs> it's only marginally, marginally less troubling than the Ring of Fire. I, I apologise, by the way. Well, it, You'll notice there are really strange sometimes. Some, uh, you know, they won't happen. Won't happen for hours on end. And then there's a little. Oh, they're all over the place in, in this map. Apparently, there are little performance dips. Um, points where the frame rate just dies off. I don't know what causes it. I don't know whether it's the the way the emulator is set up because this is a purchased game but running on a pre-packaged emulator. Um, so it's a pre-pack of DOSBox it runs on. Uh, I um, I have probably mentioned this before, but I'm a non, I'm a non-aggressive purist about gaming. I, I want to play games the way they were set, they, the way they were designed to be played. I don't want to like take a game apart, repackage it, run it through a mod system, you know, be playing like, you know, 3D accelerated heretic or whatever. It's not because I don't think that's valid. I do think that's valid and I think it's awesome that you're able to do that. Um, but for me, the reason I play older games is because I have a uh, big psychological connection to the times that I was playing I was playing the games 
or the times that games looked like that, or the times that games played like that, etc. It's like, for me, it's like when I'm listening to older music, you know, if I put on, um, if I put on a Fear Factory record from the 90s, for instance, like I'm revisiting a period of my life when I play older games. Uh, so I want them to look like I remember them look looking like I want them to play the way that I remember them playing etc so that's why I don't do emulation directly you know I don't just like uh, um, I haven't really looked into PC emulation but I know there's a lot of options other than DOSBox uh, but most games that are released on PC come prepackaged with DOSBox but there's some kind of weird error with specifically Heretic, it doesn't seem to happen as much in he Hexen. When I play Hexen, which is also packaged with DOSBox, where whoever packaged DOSBox hasn't set it up right, and when things are not quite optimized properly for my computer, because it has a very complicated processor, uh, you get little, little mini lags. Um, it happens with DOSBox on some games, and it also happens with games that use the Unity engine, um, which, which uh, as you can, can understand, is also a little bit frustrating because more or less every independent game that was ever written is on is on Unity. So, yeah, I apologise if you see dips in frame rates. It's not because of my video footage. It's not because it's because. Um, Non-optimized DOSBox runs slightly funky on my uh, my current machine, which I just find bizarre, and I've never been able to work out quite how to fix it. I've gone deep into the bowels of DOSBox with a lot of these DOS games to try and figure out how to adjust the setup to stop it doing it, and I've, I've been able to slightly increase frame rate and things like that, but I've never been able to stop it skipping like that. Um, so I presume it's just an inherent an inherent conflict between the way the pro way my processor ma is is mapped and um, DOSBox's coding process itself. It is what it is. Um, anyway, I'm sorry to keep uh, rambling on about all of that, but it is what it is. I, I don't want you to think that like I'm not realising that there are there are processing issues. I, I do, and I'm very sorry that they're happening, um, but. I, I tried just from a personal play point of view before I was even using YouTube I've tried to figure out what's causing them and everything I've tried has not worked and uh, I'm also waffling because this is exactly what happens the last time I played the, the um, River of Fire or the whatever it's called I got lost because it's a confusing cyclical map that doesn't make a lot of sense to me and I pushed that switch and I got did I was I supposed to pick up a key off of that thing and I didn't pick it up because I was too busy talking about how like the processor stuff is like frustrating um, so I pushed that that came down I got set on fire a few times. I really hate these. I really hate these maps in ga in in these um, early ID games that are. Bait oh, there's the blooming key. Of course, it's in. I walked past that 15 times, and I did touch that. Some of these maps I just don't like. This is one of them. I don't like it because it's designed to chip damage you if you don't know what you're doing and it even chip damages you if you do know what you're doing because it's only been about it's only been about two months since I last played through this game really um, but this map always confuses the hell out of me and it's got every time I mean there's lava there the keys spawned on a pit of lava so like if you don't run through it and then you've got ice here. It's just full of... It's like I, I was vaguely mentioning it about... Oh, and there's three of these blooming things that all knew where I was. It's just... Um, I, I feel like... So, 
I, I, I would real talk. I will just make an make an objective criticism of Heretic here. Um, I feel like once you have got out of City of the Damned with Heretic, the quality of the level design goes from quite well structured to kind of just like off the wall and in t designed to make people who get lost in the game get frustrated and lose lots of resources because they're constantly trying to get around the fact that the whole level is full of lava or something like that you know or you, you know it's full of so it's, it's definitely somewhere where heretic doesn't compare well with doom for me uh is um doom doesn't start doing the what you've got to do to get out of this level is run across this here acid pit. Uh, there's a shadow sphere there, um, and I'm just going to finish my acid pit rant. What you've got to do is run across this here acid pit um, and pick up a load of stuff that's on the other side of it. And the acid pit is just long enough that you're not going to be able to run across it without doing chip damage to yourself. So you'll have to keep picking up or using healing to sustain the fact sustain your ability to leg it across our lava pits you see i was running there and i only ran i only had to run about i don't know twice the length of this platform but it wasn't good enough for the game the game was just like no no you're going to get damaged and then you've got these fireball things in them just to make things a little bit more interesting a little bit more spicy for you um But Doom doesn't start doing that until right near the end of the third episode, which is the end of the game. So, like, I can completely excuse... Oh, and we've got the Hellstaff, which is a sweet weapon, and I'm just going to use now because, frankly, I'm a bit tired of this level's shenanigans. Um, and for some reason, this level is one of the levels that really makes DOSBox and my processor stop talking to each other because you saw it went there again. Um so like but it's too big to quit too big and awkward to quickly and you see because of, because my armor's gone that 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 um wizard when he shot me he point blanked me first because i i couldn't see he was he was already alerted from me shooting all these goombas he point blanked me and he took off 20 he took off something around the realms of 16 16 to 20 percent health with one bullet um, and there's another one there as well. This is grand. Um, so yeah, I don't like this level, and this level can go to hell, and it can die. Um, I, I'm not keen on this level, and, um, this just, the way this level is designed feels like a secret level. It doesn't feel like something that you should be playing in the, in the mainstream game. It feels like a, a tricky level that you should pick up. You, you know as a result of being so good at the game that you know where everything else is everything is I'm just gonna have to pop my quartz flasks before I go to the next level otherwise I'm gonna get gubbed um, and this is only level three like the, it, it, the, the level design just gets kind of intentionally sort of arcane on you um, we're cutting in close on the on the time so I'm gonna get to the next level and then I'm gonna save and call it a day uh, but so what I was going to talk about is the shadow sphere. I picked up a shadow sphere in the primary, in, in the prior level, and I didn't talk about it because I was concentrating on something else. So the shadow sphere is like the invisibility sphere in Doom, except you can keep it in your inventory and use it when it, wherever you want. Now I think the ice grotto is a more interesting level design. Yes, yes, the ice grotto is quite a cool level. So I, I will. It, it, it's cut, it, or it's a cool level on, on a degree that makes it feel like kind of payback for having to get through the lake of fire which like is every bit as torturous as you saw as it sounds and i think i'd actually rather have the ring of fire after a particularly uh, particularly good gel freezy than have to deal with that nonsense again um, but yeah so the shadow sphere makes you temporarily invisible and peace out because it's 15 minutes <laughs>